Yes, we're back, Astroneer. Oh, and I've been doing a little bit of off-screen here, uh, mainly just collecting resources and things, you know, uh, sort of running out of ceramics, so you have to make a little bit of clay over here in the soil centrifuge and then to bring it over here and churn it out into here. Uh, running a bit low on iron, actually. There's a couple of things I want to do with iron. And, um, for the life of me, I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, I was thinking, oh, I could do with go and get some iron. But we know there's plenty of iron on Glacio, so perhaps I'll do a trip over there. Uh, the other thing I did is we found that, yes, there was only... Uh, you, you had enough for, I think it was two trips, or was it three trips? Two trips back and forth, and it only empties one of these, so I replaced one of those. We're going to put that there, except I'm not going to put it on here. I'm going to take this off and put this over. Oh, I can't, can't carry it. Let's put it over there. No, 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 no. It's still, bring it over here. There we go. And stick it next to that one. So you can sort of see they are sort of similar sort of size, really. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to have a quick coughing fit. So yeah, there is, there is a bit of difference in size between the small and the medium shuttles over here. I didn't think there was a lot though, but I did get this. I built this. This is the large one, and going to put it over on the pad here and then we're going to unpack it just see how what a difference this is now the large uh yeah, i'll just just have a quick look at on that on that actually is that one? yes it was that one we haven't got the large rover yet we haven't built the medium rover yet either but this needs this titanium alloy and ceramic so that's where i realized i'd run out of ceramic so we had to make some more ceramic and the titanium alloy well that's just made in here and uh, you can churn that out relatively easily, but you have to sort of make graphene and a couple of other bits, but nothing overly technical. Uh, now the problem with this, can I move that out of the way now I've unpacked it? I can do. So we can sort of stack it next to... Oh, oh. Let's flatten this area over here maybe. Oh. All right, we'll just let it fall over. But you can sort of see the difference between those holes underneath here. Well, they're just, they are just holes. There we go. Stick it. Come on, just... I suppose if I don't drop it from such a height, it'll be such a problem. But you can see, actually, the difference between that and that is, is quite big. I mean, this one's got not just twice as much, but... Uh, well, it is twice as much, sorry. Yes. Twice as much carrying capacity. It's got the little gap around here, but it looks very much more like a, a rocket. It's still called a shuttle, though, so I'm wondering if we do... I don't think there was a spaceship. Now, the, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this... No, can't collapse. Oh, can I collapse it? Oh, I can collapse it. Oh, look at that. I'm going to move that out of the way, because while I'm not OCD-ish, I'll shove that over on this landing platform here. Actually, mm, yeah, we don't actually need that landing platform we could the trouble is it's not packaged now but um, could take it away but what I am going to do is making sure my truck's not too far away I want to flatten this area no go that's it make it flat how do I make it oh, I can't make it flat I haven't got I haven't got any soil uh, well let's just pinch a soil out of the soil centrifuge it's not such a problem so let's put the Empty one in there, take a full one in and actually we'll shove it in there. Uh, and I want the wide mod, so let's put the boost mod up there. Can I plug them both in there? No, it still doesn't got problems with trying to get them working at the same time with what I want. But anyway, let's, um, let's take a, a flat from there. Oh, oh, oh. Am I the only one who gets these sort of problems? There we go. Uh, nothing else has disappeared. I don't think the truck disappeared. But I, I would have thought I'd been able to take a flat surface and, and just make it flat. But it's not quite as easy as that, apparently. Right, let's try again. Let's move this over. Here we go, here we go. That's... So I can hear something crashing away, but I'm not too sure what it is. Anyway, I'm going to make this sort of little area flat. 
will attempt to make it flat. Does that look flat to you? Frankly, it doesn't look flat to me. But anyway, just going to make this flat, partly because I bet this is going to be a complete waste of time, but let's put that over here again. And we'll make it expand. And we'll take our big shuttle, the large shuttle, and I'll have to juggle it over here a little bit. Come on. Yeah, doesn't want to go on there. There we go. Does that look straight to you now? Yeah. Yeah, it does. When you look at the little flag on top, that look, no, looks straight. So that's fine. And, uh, it's raised the area up here a little bit as well. Right, so... Uh, what did I do with here? Looks like that was what was perhaps clanking around. Come over here. Come on. So that's connected in there. And now I've got a lot more carrying capacity to move stuff around. So I could, because I want to go and collect some iron, I want to take a... Uh, he says, having looked for perhaps an empty one. I haven't really got an empty one, but well, we have. We can borrow this one. Let's take that one, shove it in here, like that. Now, I don't think I need to take anything else with me, but we're going to go off to Glacier. We're going to collect that's only going to be eight iron. Oh, should we have another one as well? Yeah, I've got the one from there. Let's shove that in there as well. That'll bring me language. Bring eight iron plus two research back. Maybe I want more. Let's. I don't know. I can always. Let's see what I've got. With. Yeah, I haven't got any of those. Uh, nothing in there. That's fine. Uh, so. Don't like the way that is actually spun round. Or do I? That's fine, actually. Let's turn that around there like that. That is perfectly acceptable. I think if I bring back just eight iron, that's more than enough for what I'll need here for the minute. So I'm going to disappear off to Glacio and uh, we'll bring you back. And here we are. We're back on Glacio again. And uh, I did think actually, yeah, the one thing I needed here, I wanted here was... Um, Let's put those two researches on there. We'll get those underway. Uh, it was a generator because, yeah, I needed to pick up some stuff. So, yeah, 1,200 research for these. So, oh, no, don't want to do that. want to do that. We'll get that underway as well. Uh, I also I spent a load of research points to be honest, but I've got 9,000 left. I had about 17,000 left. I researched the big battery. Uh, we're going to look into getting lithium, which means going to a different planet again. Uh, I'm not going to take the little researches with me. I might as well do those while I'm here. But what we can do is... I had... What was I looking... Yeah... I am going to whip back up. What I do need, so I want to go and get and have a look at some of these other researches. But actually, the power wants work. It's not the level of power; it's the amount of power you want. Right, forget that then. Uh, actually, we'll take that out. I'm going to unclip that one. We're going to go and find some more research to take back. Let's see if we can find some more of these research containers around the planet. So, but yeah, larger generator. That would have been a good idea. Bring some of that with me particularly as I can churn out graphite on this. Actually, you muppet. What's this over here? I found a generator here. I don't need a generator. I found one. Uh, so we can shove that into there. We'll turn that off for the minute. We're going to chuck it onto the back of this truck. Mind you, that truck only carries... only carries one research at a time. So... Might have to make two trips, bring some research back, and then go back and get the truck. Uh, but what I am going to do is I'm going to set this off and make it get it making some more organic. Why won't you make any more organic? You're not actually attached to the power system. It's a bit daft, isn't it? Why are you not attached? Okay, let's take that plug out of there. Put that plug into there. Oh, I see. Uh, you've got that one there. That's my little printer. Take the little plug out and we'll plug that into there. Oh, 
Yeah, come on. This is where organisation perhaps does help. Uh, now I can churn out some organic on this. We can turn this to some carbon for that generator should we need it. That'll do for now. Let's take this, go find some research. I'll bring you back. Not that far from base, that's just over there. There is this large sort of rock research here. I'm just going to take that back anyway. But also, while we're taking that back, we will unlock a couple of these. In fact, I could be a bit clever here. Well, I say a bit, a bit clever. I think the best thing for me to do is... Oh, I can't... Oh, you... Yes, I can. I can take... Oh, I can't because I need to connect it to that. Oh, I was thought I was going to drop the. Ooh, it's getting up. I thought I was going to drop the uh, the truck, but yeah, what we'll do is we will plug that in. Okay, we'll plug that in that one then, and then we'll turn that on. Why is that not working? Why is that not working, Brad? Is it because these are directional plugs? Has that got to clip into there? Let's come around the other side, see if I can get it. Didn't think they were directional. I thought they just went to whatever the power went to. Let's turn that off. Come on. I want you. Oh, back, back, back. No, backwards. Let's try again. Let's try again. Perhaps it's not the generator that... Well, that's never going to fit. Oh, there it is. Okay, so this one actually... Maintain the desired power input. So yeah, this one. There are uh, okay. Yeah, no. The if we got enough power now. Oh, it's not. These are different. These you require a certain amount of power to do. Uh, they need a, a power. You see the little red line there. Wait for the wind to come along and see if that'll make the turbine fall. This one is maintain desired power input. What's in there? That's, that's purple. Ooh. That was a bit sneaky. Whatever's in there is is a little bit nasty. Right, let's just scan these while we're here. Uh, wait for the wind. There's the wind, it's going. Let's get that turning as well. Let's have a quick look, does that... No, basically I haven't got enough power going. So, um... Let's have a quick think. If I can churn out some... As you can see, I'll grab some, some uh, hematite while I was around. I need another wind generator, maybe. Uh, or I could make... No, because I haven't got any... Another wind generator. Can I make a wind generator? I can make a small generator. Make a small solar out of copper or a small out of glass. I haven't got any glass with me. I'm going to have to come back. I'm going to have a quick look around. Let's take it. Uh, well, there is some... What do I need for a small generator? Because I could probably scrounge some... Let's come back this way. Small generator is compound. Right, we've got compound. So let's take a going back. Let's let's pull out a compound. Let's don't want that. Put that there. Let's get in here. Let's pull out one of those. Shove one of those in. Make that generator. Uh, I need to put that. Let's just bring that. Shove it next to this thing over here. Oh, don't... Yeah, I didn't turn the Jenny off, did I? So we've run out of 
Oh, I have. What was that turning itself off then? Uh, now I need a bit of organic. Uh, let's see if I, if I dig these up. Do I get organic? No. Nope. Can't scan the resultant bits and pieces though. Uh, some more, s more research there. This is organic here, isn't it? So let's uh, let's gather enough organic for one, and then see if that does what I want it to do. Come on. Oh, no power. We don't need the booster while I'm doing this, but. to let's pull that off of there put my small journey on just need just need a little bit more organic come on where's the organic let's put this down here oh no is that organic down there I don't know the only organic that seems to be on this planet is this little spiky plant things to be honest there's lots of these. Like these. I mean, that must be about a thousand at least I've gathered just while I've been up here. Ooh, there's a large wind turbine whizzing away over here. I didn't spot these over here. So, uh, and a power generator. Our oh, power cells. Excellent. Well, let's take that back and see if that wants to work. Oh, you idiot. I sometimes I, I struggle to believe myself. Let's juggle this over here. Because actually a large wind generator over here. As well as back at base. Well, certainly this base. But do a lot of good. Actually what I do need is batteries as well. So actually we can get rid of that for the minute. Got no space to carry it. Want to get rid of that as well. Let's put that on there and start that up. That should be more than enough to pop the... He says, oh, come on, please. Really? Let's have a quick look. Is that the slightest hint of red there? So do I need... Right, let's turn that off. Do I really need this in here as well? So back to hunting for the organic then. Let's come over here, unless I can find another wind generator. Or even those power cells. Don't know if they work in the same way, but we'll let's take them anyway. Organic, organic, organic. Ooh, that requires something else. Uh, looks like a gas actually rather than a power uh, resin resin another one that's a little research I'll pick up when I come back we've got down here iron ore one of those big sort of explodey plant things Oh, and another. Oh, a little generator and a big generator. Even better. Okay, so let's let's put these power cells down. Let's put that into there, and we'll take that back with us as well. If I can remember where the vehicle is, it's just over here. Come on, running a little low on air now. There it is over there. it up. There we go. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, I'll be back in time. Right, here we go. Now, for the big wind generator, I'm going to need another base, but I think if I take, because I don't need much, if I take that off of there, 
put the little Jenny on there. That should be more than enough. I need to start the... Yes? No? It's flashing. It's not doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, what if I take those two off? Can I put the big Jenny... Put the big wind Jenny on the front? Let's stop that for the minute. Let's unplug that. Put that one there. And that one there. Didn't think this was going to be quite so difficult, but, you know. And now let's start that. There we go. That's what I want. Right. Right, stop Jenny, because we're almost out. Uh, I'm going to put all this over here. Take, yeah, we'll leave those there as well. And I'll take these two researches back and then come back. Uh, I've got room to take that. I'll bring it back. So, uh, plugged in this little, these two here, this is obviously powering this, but this is directional. If I plug that into there, it does not want to plug in. Why do you not want to plug in? Let's just turn you around a minute. Okay, turn you back the other way. Right. Trying to get that plugged in. So now that's two of those plugging in. That plugs in that way, but if I take it out of there and plug it into, it doesn't want to go. That's fine, we'll just ignore that for a minute. But for some reason, I don't know if these have an in or out or what, but uh, anyway, there's another one of those. Uh, let's pick up these two before I forget. Stick them into my backpack. The other thing I had over here, this, uh, yeah, this here is, I've got, I'm just wondering if this is a gas, but if I go into the Wikipedia and the resources, it's, it's ammonium. Now, and this stuff I thought was clay, it's not clay, it's ammonium, so I picked up a lump of it, which we're just going to bung in, when I find the bung it in the hole. There we go. So that is dead easy, that one. And that is it. I've, I've now run out of space. I need to take these two researchers home and then come back. Oop. Come back for those. Uh, but that'll be four of these large researches that I can take back to the uh, silver and research there while I'm doing other stuff. Uh, also take some of this what you call it home. Um, iron. Oh, I didn't want to go down there. Oh, okay. Off. E. Make a flat. Jump in. Go on, you can get up there. Don't stick. In fact, I've got the large jenny on the top front. It doesn't seem to make too much difference about whether I get stuck and stuck on a slope or whatever. But I noticed that when I was playing the um, the alphas as well. It actually it didn't, uh, didn't collide too much. Whoa, careering down through the base. So uh, I'm just going to get rid of these. Go and collect those generators, otherwise I forget I've collected them. Uh, I'll keep one here as well. Simply because I have. And uh, I'll meet you back on silver. And, uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. It's four of these large researches. We'll get two of them going straight away. Uh, I've got a load of this iron, plus a load of my backpack as well. So we've got iron for days. But um, that's not too much of a problem. Go on, click on that. Alright, okay, we'll just throw you over there then. Now Grab you out as well, throw you guys away oh, gone. Probably about split screens when your mouse disappears off the screen. And I think what should we do? Well, once we get these underway, got some decent research going. Look at that, seven thousand in half an hour. Oh, no, don't take it away. Get back in again. Oh you idiot. 
Well, I've just wasted 7,000 research. Don't double click so much. There we go. Okay, so apart from that funny. <laughs> I know I could reload the game, but it's only a research, and to be honest, we could quite happily go and get another one. The next thing I've seen. I don't know whether I want to get into. Yes, let's have a look at perhaps the bigger buggies, because I think what we do need to do is we've investigated some of those uh, sort of, I'm going to call them teleporters, but um, yeah, we've investigated some, but we could do with some more. Where did I put that iron? Uh, and I really want to go, I've got a feeling that there is one at the core. Uh, so at some point we've got to go down to the core, which will be very exciting. I need to bring that over here for the minute, because we're going to put that on top of there. Uh, probably going to need a bit of one of these. Oh, I know what else I researched, which actually means I could probably... Uh, I, it's a pity I can't scrap some of these. Well, it's this large platform here. This is what I needed the iron for. Uh, backpack's full. Okay, we'll just plug it straight into... No, I can't plug it straight into... Why is my backpack full? Because, yes, I don't... I'm only full of iron. Uh, I want to have a quick look at this huge platform. This is the large platform C, which I'm surprised... I know there is other storage units you can pick up over here. If we have a look in... No, not that one. I actually do want to pull this one out. We yeah, have got these extra large platforms here. That doesn't look any bigger than the... 4x4 four four that we you know, would normally have, but this one looks quite a bit bigger. Uh, this one needs two iron and two resin. Possibly cheaper to build this one. So let's research that. Uh, pick up two resin. Come over here. We'll investigate that. Extra large platform B. Maybe if you look at these shelters, I can't do it now because it's building something. Definitely need to get some bigger, better batteries because we're using power at a phenomenal rate. So let's unpack that one for the minute. Now, yeah, see this this here is like building one of these, but having all the extra storage space already on it. Or I can chuck in. I'm assuming I can chuck in. No, I can't. So. Uh, yeah, let's move that over there. I'm going to swap. Or should we move it? Where's, what do we make lots of? Actually, it's this soil one here. Let's take the soil generator off for a minute. And put that. I'm going to put that over there for the minute as well. Yeah, it's a shame. I've got these... I'm not sure I actually want to do this, but well, let's, let's unplug these for the moment and put this large platform... I don't know, just bug it over there. Go on, chuck. That'll do. Let's put this one in here. We'll turn it around so I can access the plugs properly. And we want to plug it into... well, here. And then plug into here, so that's got power, and then we plug that into... Oh, let me plug that into there. Let go of that. Let go of that. Move it this way a bit, and actually we'll turn it around a bit as well. I'm sure we plugged into here. Did we not plug into there? Perhaps we didn't. We don't need to, because all that is all connected via the houses. Or I could just use one of these extenders. Let's stick it with an extender. Here we go. Let's just grab an extender out. Except we've dropped it under here somewhere. Where are you, little extender? Where did you go? Can't see you now. Did I lose you? Did you drop through the floor? 
can't see you under there. Anyway, all right, we'll use another one. There we go. Grab that. Bring that over here. Just want to make sure that I do have power going to where I need it going to. And uh, just had a quick funny five minutes then where actually I, uh, yeah, unfortunately went AFK for a couple of seconds and, and died because all this wasn't connected up, which means there is no oxygen to it and it wasn't attached to a tether and I suffocated. But there we go. That is all done, except... Uh, no, 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 we've got those. Fine, I just need to put them onto here. So let's attach that there and attach that there and attach that down there. So that's all tickety boo. We'll attach that. Don't like the tethers up there. Doesn't matter where you attach these, they still work. I so said if you plug the light down here, it still lights, but I quite like having it stuck up as an aerial. It just strikes me, and having that up there just makes it easier for me to see, uh, make sure I don't forget what oxygen we've got. Um, I'll attach that into that extender and that one into... Why don't you extend? Well, perhaps I've got to take it from that plug into there. So, whether this will swap when the uh, these start moving or not, it's a different matter. Um, the other thing I was going to do is unpack that. Have a look at that one. Ooh, this is an interesting looking item. Oh, I say. I see. I see. So that actually, if I put that over there, we can perhaps start stripping. Yeah, don't want to go down the hole. Uh, just going to put that over there a minute, because actually that would be a lot clearer than stacking it on these large things here. Doesn't mean so I'm going to use, not use those. So let's put that one there, that one there, actually put that back on there. This needs to go round that way. You can see what, you know, that that would make that a lot better to uh, look at, a lot better to access than the, the jumble we have here. Let's move that one out of the way. I'm uh, going to make another one of those, actually. Those, so for storing stuff, that would be a lot better. This, I've got a feeling, might be a lot better for doing this stuff with, particularly if we put all those on there, which should make sense. Maybe, I don't know, I'm not, not so keen on this one, uh, but the large storage unit, let's put that there, put that there. So we've got, actually you can fit 12 items on there, so let's, let's fill up those last two slots on there. Which means actually I've got loads of space down this side for all, all that resources there. So that makes sense. And come on, I want some wind. I want to see if we go draw power back the other way, because at the moment power's flowing this way, assuming because we're using it down here somewhere, but I uh, don't know what we're using down there. I mean, at the moment. Yeah. A little concerned. The only thing we've got using power that I can see is the research chambers. So, uh, why, if I unplug that and unplug that and bring that that way, and that that way, now we can get power flowing both ways. I don't know if these extenders were one way or the other, but it doesn't make too much difference which way the power flows, I don't think. Uh, except it may be a case that perhaps power goes to the things it touches first, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm going to start sorting out some of this storage space, and uh, I will bring you back. This thing is absolutely huge. I quite like the idea it is perhaps one-sided, so you don't have to access the back. Uh, you can plug in power at the back, so perhaps if I unplug that and put it in here, might look marginally better. No, but 
Um, but I do like the way actually it holds way more than the sort of this, this arrangement over here does. So I've built another one over here and we'll put the metals over here. We'll keep everything else sort of over here. Uh, I thought we'd have a quick look at as well uh, the large platform, or the extra large platform A, this one here. It's quite expensive. Well, I say quite expensive, you know, it's four iron compared to this one, which is only two iron and two um, uh, little resin. And actually, I, I'm not so keen on this one. This here, this is the platform C, I believe, here, yeah, the large platform C. While it's quite useful for putting this in, what I do sort of perhaps miss is that I can't, I can't interchange, you know, units like this. I, I, if that was full, I'd take that one off, I'd put this one down, I'd put this one back on, and then, that, you know, it would, it would uh, change eight units at a time. With this one here, if I fill up this with resin, what I've got to do is pull off eight resin. Well, in this case, it's uh, ten resin, because they're ten at a time. Or I think it produces eight at a time, but anyway. I'd have to pull them off singly, stick them in my backpack, or transfer them across to this manually. So, I'm not sure for this thing here, this is the best option. So I might take this platform away and swap it out for something that I don't... This one here, for instance, uh, you're making things singly, therefore it's sort of easier to pull stuff off the side. I'm not so keen on is when you stood in front of it, you can't actually see what you're you're making. So I don't know. I'm not, not terribly keen on that one. Um, again, maybe I'll swap it out for. Maybe I'll swap it out for the. Uh, you can just swap. I've swap them over. I don't actually have to swap them around, do I? Let's just turn this around so I've got access to it through that way. And yeah, we'll put those on there, we'll put that on there, and we'll put the turn that around, 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 we'll put that there. That way I'm s sucking stuff out of the atmosphere on that side. Let's put those over there, and that over there. And just pull those all off of there and drag them across. Don't know if that's any quicker. Ooh, it's definitely not quicker if you drop them. But uh, yeah, I'd say I'm not, not keen on that. It's the, the, the visibility is just a little awkward. Yeah, I'm being finicky maybe, but you know, while I don't like things being particularly neat, what it does is it gives you a lot of storage in a vertical tight space maybe, but don't necessarily want it. A lot of storage in a vertical tight space. Have I got one on there? I have. That's fine. Right, so let's just be quicker just to do that, wouldn't it? Never mind. Right, uh, I'm going to pull those off of there because I only need two at a time. And pull that one off of there as well. Put that in there. And we'll keep the uh, keep the gases on there. I do produce a lot of gas, but at least I can line them up and down. I can see exactly what I've got. So uh, that is the next thing. Let's have a let's have a look at this extra large platform. Ah, I see. No, yes, it is bigger. Uh, what I can do with these is I can have four of those there. So actually, it's not it's not very good for storing stuff. But if I wanted to put two things the same on, so I will come down here, drag it over here. So our research platforms, for instance. Oh, I've seized up. Back and uh, sorry about that. I don't know why the game froze like that. First time I've done that for a while. Let me show you what uh, I've I've sort of done. I've, I've shuffled things around. I've taken that range extender out because I don't like the way they only flow one way. Uh, but here we are, the, the power system into here. Uh, I, no, I don't know, I know this large platform's got its uses, but I, I'd like being able to sort of take these things off. So I've swapped those around. Over here I've put this, uh, I think this is the large, yeah, extra large platform A. That's really good if you want to put two of these together sort of thing, and it gives you lots and lots of power options. So uh, 
Lots of power plugs there. Not really need them. So I've got a whole great stack of bases over here. Also, because I had to go back to that save where uh, I left the left Glacio, I managed to. I did ditch one of my research items, so I've got two of those over here. I've just over here. I've put all my batteries down into one bank. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. There was one of these extra or large storage units, and if you look over here, you might have already spotted it when I was running around anyway. But I've managed to put these into here. So instead of just having you know, that amount of storage, we've now got twice as much storage in here, which is absolutely brilliant for bringing stuff back. Whether it'll work or not, I don't know. Um, I'm assuming that that'll close over, but if you start sticking extra big units on it, I don't know, perhaps we get some collision problems. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. So if I chuck these in there, for instance, you can see... Ah, is that me not connecting it? No, they will connect. So yeah, we can get, we can get uh, what you call it, units in there, research items. So I can bring this one over. I'm slightly worried that you do, you get some collision problems where they, they come through them. But, you know, apart from aesthetics, it uh, looks like it probably will work. But we'll play with that later. Uh, so I've increased the storage of our large craft. I could have done that with this over here if I'd thought about it, but no, to be honest, the large craft is the better way to go. Uh, looking at it, I forgot to point this out earlier, but looking at it, you know, a trip to Glacier and back only used half of one of these. So you can get one, two, three, four, five, six trips uh, in out of one lot before you have to start worrying about hydrazine. So there's plenty of time there. Basically, I should always keep one hydrazine bottle free. Uh, I've stuck some metal storage over here. Haven't filled that up with more medium storage units yet, but we'll do that. Uh, oh, that can't stay there because of this medium printer needs to print there. But yeah, we'll, we'll perhaps move it further over. I'll sort of stick another storage unit. In fact, well, let's do let's do that. Let's put that there. Uh, we'll take yeah, come on, unplug that and unplug that. Take that off. Plug it in. It says. Take that off, plug it in there. Take the large ball, which is actually quite a good lighting circuit. We'll just chuck that on top of the pile of bases, which I say we'll, we'll package up. And then we'll just connect that to that so it's got some power so we can use the batteries. At the moment, the research units and the things are using the power anyway, so that's fine. And uh, so I'll put a range exchange rate. I decided to not use that. I have one extra thing here full of bottles, but to be honest, I'm going to keep those over there for the minute because I'm going to think of something to do with them. And that's it. Uh, so, yeah. I've a, a sort of. I do like these ones here. Not so keen on those. Uh, perhaps I think the next thing to get into then would be the larger rover. And we'll see how that. I've just said we've done the buggy. Um, but this one here, come down to my rovers and vehicles. That's the shredder. Down one more. Here we go. Tractor, trailer. No. I uh, haven't done anything with those yet. Sorry, it's this printer here. Here we go. This is the medium printer. And the buggy, I said, we've, we've, we've lost our buggy. It fell through the floor, if you remember. But I've got the medium rover, and I've unlocked it. Now, it takes two plastic and one rubber. And I just happened to be, when I was messing around earlier, I've made three rubber and uh, some plastic. In fact, we need, need another plastic. I'm going to build a trailer with it as well. I'm assuming we still build trailers with it. Uh, another plastic, plastic, plastic. Here we go. So that's carbon and compound. And over here we have some carbon and some compound. So we'll come into there and we'll go for make it a plastic. Take it straight on my backpack. I do like that. And we'll take those two plastics and that rubber. And we'll come into here and we'll make a, a large platform C. Ding! Buggy medium rover. So we'll make one of those. Well, I haven't got it as a seat. But, I do believe, right back sort of 13 episodes ago, when we were running over here, the other thing I found, these tethers, I might have to take them down because apparently lots and lots of tethers create lots and lots of lag. Ooh, that doesn't look good. I 
thought I had a large seat here. Don't tell me I've actually got to research a large seat. And actually make one. That normally isn't a problem throughout the uh, the game. Did I stick it up here somewhere? Is it just lying around in a pile? Or did it was it one of the items that disappeared through the floor and I haven't actually recovered it yet? Looks like it is, so okay, we're gonna have to look at I'm guessing it's a small printer thing, maybe he says. Gonna have to go and find that. Tractor unit. Right, oh, we go. It's un already unlocked, that's fine. It just takes two compounds, so it's not the most expensive thing. To be honest, I'm running a little bit out of compounds. I'm going to take that out there, put that in there. I'll see you exactly, tell you, show exactly what I like doing with this. So we're going to take that out, take that out, put that in there, press on that, change that to compound, make up a stack of compound. Leave that there because I'll pull that off and pull it back. So while that's doing that, let's come over here, make this plastic, pinch that plastic and that and that. And the beauty of this, we can actually stack boxes on top of each other, so that's fine. And then we'll come back over here. Is this finished making my compound yet? Busy doing things. Come on. I'm a bit low on power. No, I'm fine. The old power meter here is, is absolutely fine. So the old wind things are doing their thing. Batteries are depleting. Okay. So there we go, that'll help with that. Should be producing a lot of excess power now. Pull that out, now I've got some plenty of compound. And we are gonna pull this over. Oh, where are we going to put our roller? They are a little bit bigger. I don't want to hammer it in too much. Tell you what, let's put them... Oh, I will need... Well, I have loads of... Uh, he says... Perhaps I have. Perhaps I took one away with me and didn't actually make... I'm talking about little wind generators, but I thought I had some floating around. But I haven't, but that's fine, because, to be honest, I've probably got enough wind generation, but we'll... We will see. Right, let's unpack that one. Let's unpack that one. And let's make a seat, because I haven't made a seat. Tractor trailer, rover, seat. Let's make a seat. Let's attach that to here, just to charge the batteries up. And that one to... You attach that one? Come on, you do attach. I know you do. Are you too far away? No, come on, you did. I heard you click just now. Oh, perhaps. Yeah, the click is the delay. Ah, oh, you. You eejit. Right, okay, well, that's fine. We'll just take that and we'll shove it on there and we'll charge the battery. So I'm going to put it on there because I'm going to use it as the power source anyway. And I can also make. Medium solar power, medium wind turbine, one ceramic, one glass, one ceramic, one glass, go, and we'll take the row of seat, put it, come on, why aren't you, oh, because you're still in that menu, so I'll take my row of seat and we'll put it at the front of the vehicle. I thought, oh, okay, fine. Uh, we'll jump into that. Right, let's take it for a quick spin on its own. Now, the beauty of this, I think, over the tractor, in fact, the beauty of the buggy over the tractor is that it probably goes over uh, rough terrain slightly easier. I'm hoping, because it's got big wheels, it would make sense, wouldn't it? However, what well, the problem with the buggy was that it didn't have... Oh, ran out of power. Oh... So, not a huge battery on this thing, then. Uh, probably about the same as the... Yeah, we'll just have to wait for the wind to be... increase. In fact, why are... 
yeah okay I've been using the trailer as a battery anyway so let's put that wind generator up there and unpack that and yes batteries must get into batteries now why is this because it's going the wrong way well I thought it did start charging the battery surely didn't it Now, perhaps as you get more advanced, perhaps you do need to... Uh, is that charging that buggy battery? It is. Good. But you, 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 know, you might want to find a way of directing power so it goes into things and not out of things, such as when you're recharging buggy batteries. Oh. No, no, no. I'm not much good at remote control cars, as you can possibly see. Well, not in. I'm trying to go backwards in third person view. That'll do. Oh. Meant to break, didn't. Come on, get, just get out. Just, just get out. There we go. Right, let's plug that into there. Now I'll now charge that battery. That's brilliant. Now we probably do need. Perhaps we need a third trailer, but to be honest, this is this will be good for picking up three resource units, etc. Do we need it on this planet, though? That's a good point. Can I repackage them? That's another good point. Um, but to be honest, that's what we are going... Well, yes, we do need it, because the whole point of this, because we want it to go off to find those other units those other teleportation units. That's what I was that's where I was going with this. I'm gonna pinch a couple of those and put those on the buggy for the minute. Maybe I'll put a little wind turbine and a little solar panel on there. Mind you I've just pinched that off of there now. Well, let's take let's take one of those off. Come on. I want one of these. Yeah. There's no point. I can have that there, and now I can just plug that into there if I need it to. But it does mean that I'm making use of this wind turbine I've made and don't need to. Yep, yeah, just pick it up and shove it on here. No. No. Pick it up. There we go. Right. Uh, and I'd like a solar panel. Can I... I can make solar panels, but I'm just wondering if I've got one spare. Did I... No, all right, we'll just make one. Medium solar panel. Actually, they're made in here, aren't they? Small solar panel. Copper. Copper, copper. That's my copper. Go. Oh, I've got two batteries in my backpack. Yes, because I didn't put them onto the buggy. Right, so <laughs> over here. Back to the buggy. Let's put those two batteries there. Go on. And take that. At some point I am going to go and find lithium. But I think that is it for now. What we are going to require is... Uh, I don't know what, what we would require. Oh, yes, these. I'm going to need a shed load of those and a shed load of graphite, which I'm probably a bit low on, actually. So... Let's find some compound. I haven't got any compound either. Uh, not compound. So let's make some organic. Organic, organic, organic. Turn it into carbon. Well, that's going to be about it for this episode, I think. Uh, I've said for the next episode we are going to take, take a couple of these generators. We've got some wind turbines and some bits and pieces as well. Actually, I don't know. Do we need the wind turbine? I, to be honest, these are better because I don't need to put them on platforms. If I take a turbine, I'm going to need a platform. But I reckon a couple of these generators with a fistful will unlock any... I can't remember exactly, but yeah. Take that and that, and we have a bunch of this, which I'm going to put here, 
take that turn it into some of that let's put an empty one of those up there for the minute put that empty one over there as well so we'll have a load of uh, graphite not graphite carbon So thanks for joining me guys, come back for the next episode. We're going to go and have a look at, in fact what we might do is use the shuttle to go and spot where these things are compared to where the uh, the base is. And then go and try and find, I'm going to need a load of beacons aren't I, so we'll take some crystal with us. And cheers for joining me. Subscribe if you want to see some more, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Press the like button if you care to. We'll catch you back. Ta-ta.